Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord again, saints. Hallelujah. Let us give God a great big hand of praise for that beautiful opening song. So I'm glad I've got Jesus. Aren't you glad you have Jesus on tonight? Praise God. Has it been good to you throughout this week? Let's give God a great big hand of praise for our pastor, our general overseer, Apostle Taylor. Truly, we once again thank God for his grace and mercy, for blessing us all throughout this week. Bless us on Sunday. Bless us on Wednesday. Bless us on Friday, praise God. Throughout the week, from all hurt, harm, and danger. Truly, we here at the New Testament Church are truly, truly blessed. And I thank God for this man of God here at this assembly, for God blessing him and using him. From the time that I've been here before, I've been here. God has blessed him and used him. But I've seen so many things, so many miracles, so many healings. So many people being saved. The preaching of this man of God here at this assembly. And I thought about it. You know, I celebrated my was it 54th year birthday. And I thought about it. How I could have been dead. I should have been dead. A long time ago. <laughs> it's never too late for that. Huh? But you know. I've been shot at a couple times. <laughs> I've, I've been hit by a vehicle. I've been in accidents. There's a whole lot of different things that I, that I you know, God has truly been good to me, praise God, through the years. And I thank God for this man of God who is after souls, praise God. Because he always say he's after your soul. He wants us to be saved. And he preaches this holy word of God, line upon line, precept upon precept. And God has blessed him and anointed him to preach his holy word. The Bible say, you know, if you desire an office of a bishop, See, he met all the qualifications Glory. in there. Amen. No one just came up to him and said, hey, made him a preacher. God made him a preacher, Glory. praise God. And the Bible says, these signs shall follow them that believe. And I, I just thank God for him being who he is. Love God, love people. I love preaching this holy word. So on tonight, let us prepare to hear from heaven coming from this anointed man of God. A man that God has called, he has chosen, he's anointed to preach his holy word. He's our pastor, he's our general overseer. But more importantly, he is God's humble servant. Our pastor and general overseer, Apostle Taylor. Let's give God a great big hand of praise. For Apostle Taylor, as he comes. I want to give God one big hand for you, man. I can't be 
you know, ignoring them. If I can dodge them, I will. Amen. But I'm not talking about the saints. Amen. We're not talking about you. Uh, but, you know, they have all kind of problems, but they don't want to get it straight with God. Amen. They, you know, you know, somebody say, uh, a lot of people want to go to heaven, they don't want to die to get there. Amen. And so many people, they, 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 they are screwed up and they in, in their mind, and the Bible tells us in Ephesians 4 and 23, be renewed in the spirit, spirit of your mind, because that flesh of the mind gets us in trouble. And I'm, I'm just so privileged that God would do something for me. I tell you, we, we challenge with, you know, with the common life that people go through. We get tired. Jesus got tired. Amen. amen. You know, amen. amen. And he rested, but he wasn't just running around complaining about it. That's right. Wanting everybody to feel sorry That's for him right. and all this kind of stuff. You know, talking about, you know, why do people do that? I'm going to throw up out So what you want me to do about it? Sure. Go get your job where you don't work with 18. Then you'd be complaining about that. You know, there's no perfect job. No. Well, I heard one man say, you know, uh, if you find a perfect church, don't, 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 don't get in there because you're a runner. No. But you know, we've been saying about this that, uh, you know, there ain't nothing but a bunch of hypocrites over here. I said, well, come on over here. We'll be crying, but we got room for a few more. Amen. Come on, here. <laughs> Got him back, you know, where he could, you know, do something. Yeah. So they decided they'll take him over to Memphis somewhere to thought they were gonna get him rehabilitated or after they got they found they had a hernia or something off in the stomach and once he got there, they started having so many seizures and they couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So they finally got him a stable enough to do it because that was critical because yeah. he couldn't eat. Right. So they finally got that stable enough so they could operate on him, but he have not came back. Jesus. They've had an induced on a trick, yes. respirator, can't breathe by himself. Mm -hmm. Just one thing or the other, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, and I know, and I want, I hope, you know, I, I don't want most people to look at the singing than they do the preaching because they don't want preaching. Mm -hmm. They want singing. Mm -hmm. so maybe we ought to blow it up real loud, <laughs> you know, so you can see it. But, you know, it's people that say, oh, you, you arrogant. Well, that might be in your point. Right, right. But I'm I'm interested in only one thing, and that's saving your soul. Amen. I'm not interested in what you think about me or how you feel. I don't care about that stuff. Amen. I don't, I don't, even, I don't even let that bother me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Because God called me and ordained me because... It's people dying every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's liars standing up there lying that they're going to help them and they're going to go. Amen. Now, our preacher going to stand up there. Then it's a, well, we, we can't, we don't have no heaven and hell preaching. But where to get through it? They put him in heaven. Mm -hmm. Well, you're putting right in hell with you. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Because it's people, we don't have apathy for people. Until they, something happened. Then we yeah. want to go try to find all that good somewhere. Well, they ain't that bad. Well, they ain't born again. Right. Hello? Amen. I want to tell you again before we get into it. Mm -hmm. If your mama, your daddy, your yeah. uncle, or whatever, they're right. not born again. Amen. Now, if you're in the Baptist church, there's no way you're going to get born again. Right. Amen. Right. 
It's not, it, how you can't? You don't even believe in a born again message. So how you going to get there? Hello. Are you, you know they feel, are you crying about just because, uh, I mean, it's time to cry, I guess. I don't know. But I don't have that problem because I don't go to funerals. So are you listening to me? Amen. But just think about it. Yes, you had co winners. Oh, my co worker died going to film. Why you didn't help them while they were living? Right, right. So, why you want to go? You can't help them. And you definitely ain't going to help nobody while you live. Just think about it. Amen. Just think about it. Your cousin, you know, your good friend, your, your cousin you brought up with, you know, all kind of stuff. They died. You want to go to this film, but you haven't told them. Either you're going to believe what the Bible says, or you're not going to believe it. Amen. Don't give God a big hand. But Found in the book of, let's start off over here in the book of Second Corinthians. Maybe you want to deal with it. And then we'll go a little further. Is that all right with you? If you're mad now, you're in trouble. About to be upset now. I'm always looking at to tap into the nature of what God is thinking. And even that's why I don't think that everyone's out for me a lot. My baby girl back there, Sister Nicole, mother told me one time when I talked to her, she said, you, she said, no preachers talk to me, she said, because I'm deep. I said, I'm too hard. After talking to her a little while, she found out she wouldn't be through God in me. She said, the first time I heard you preach, I looked at that road there, I said, who is that guy? She said, I went and sat in the woman's lounge. But after listening a couple more times, she said, if I was a member, if I was in 50, 50 miles of your church, I'd be a member. That come out of her mind, didn't come out of her mind. And some people think they want to be a member until they get around a little while. Because mm -hmm. they think they can put you in a box. You can't put God in the world. Amen. Praise I know you would like to. Because see, stuff that you play with, I, I don't play with nothing. Amen. We don't play with nobody's soul. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hello? We don't play with anybody's soul. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. But look what it says over here in 1 Corinthians, first chapter, verse number. Let's look over here at the verse number for 20. That's what I want to deal with. You see that? Do you see it? Oh, I'm just so glad God is still working. I want to compact. See, when you, God do some great things for you, then it's layers of revelation knowledge. Because once you reveal the nature of what God is and what he's doing, it's very important. Look what he said. For all the promises of God in him are yea, yea, and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Now, why is it that I have not counted all these promises in the Bible, but the main one that's promised to me is salvation. Now, why if can't we believe God's word? Because we don't seek Him. It's people that I never come, I know I do this, people come up, so I just want more revelation, talk to not with to God, study. You know how it is, we just don't have time to. To get this, what we need to get with God. We got so many electronic instruments, and then we have to give them to our children and stuff to help them go to hell. You know, we can. Because some people say, Well, you know, I don't have what I didn't have. Well, well you didn't have the Holy Ghost, then you know, when you <laughs> 10, why didn't you pray for them? Yeah, amen. <laughs> now, why is this that when we're looking at this, I would just like to talk just a little bit about when it says, for all the promises of God in him are yea, I mean really, really yes, in and him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Now it's in the glory of God. See, what we are doing is trying to find the honor of God, the glory of God, is the weightness of God, or the heaviness of God, because that's what glory means. It's a weight. 
It's a heaviness. But it's not bad. It's not negative. What are you talking about? Because I want you to just, just look at the 18th verse here. He's about it. As God is true. Yeah. Did you see that? Amen. Lord have mercy. Amen. This is not a, 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 this is not a, 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 you know, a test where you take the truth and follow. No. This is all this truth. Yeah. Like this. You know what I'm saying? You know, you check it out. I like truth and follow. <laughs> no, all this is true. Yeah. Amen. Look what he said. But as God is true, I work toward you, I yea and nay. Or not, I'm sorry, not yea and yea. I mean, not yea and nay. No, 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 I work toward you, can't be that. That's what he said. He said, for the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Oh, don't say that in the apostolic churches. Ain't no Son of God. All said is. Now, who are you going to believe? Fake apostles, or are you going to believe the apostle Paul? Yeah. They've been called to the third heaven. Oh, Lord. I, when God got through with him from the mass of Lord, they said, Strike what he preached in Jesus Christ, yeah. the Son of God. Right. Say it right there, nice man. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Is it in your Bible? Yeah. Do you remember what the Lord told me? He says, He said, for, for the Son of God. Jesus Christ, not only did he tell you, but then he identifies him. Yeah. So you won't mistake him with none of his brothers. Or his sisters, amen. Are you listening to the church? Hallelujah. He said, Who was preached among you by us, even by me and Sylvanus, in Timotus, was not yea and nay, but in him was yes. I just can't understand it, man. Yeah. First of all, the two things I can't understand. Mm -hmm. And I know I, I got a long way to go. I can't understand how a person can believe that God can give them something they can see. And he ain't going to promise you that. But he promised you the Holy Ghost and you can't believe that. I, I just can't believe that. I cannot believe that. I can't understand how you can deal with that. I don't want nothing first but what God can promise me. Amen. He said, seek ye first, Matthew 6, 33, Amen. the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And no, don't worry, just skip around the Holy Ghost and all the other stuff and just go get whatever you want. And just be happy as a tickle of buffalo sucking all the blood, you know. Help me here. <laughs> Like this now, but how do we do this? How do we get to what we need to get from God? We, when, when we are, are, are really kind of really wish of God in spirit and truth, like John 4 and 24 and 25 says, what, do you ever think about that? How can we get there to worship God in spirit and in truth? It ain't just running around the building or, or turning flips or, or doing something like this, but it is focused. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it's just like we come here, it's people criticize. Uh, it's people coming, like, what time? My God, but I don't understand that. They got to go somewhere. So I reckon you plan you going to heaven and say, well, God, look, look, I've been alone. Now, let me go around the hill and check on my field of food. You understand? Anybody understand? Because we are serious about. We don't want to play with your soul because you don't have a one. Do you have a spare one? No. Maybe you got a suitcase. You got a suitcase full of souls that don't work. This don't work. Amen. But let's look over in that book of. Uh, 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 I tell you what. Before I go there, because uh, I want you to know that the promise of God to us is actually co-laboring with God. Amen. And this is what God, the promise of God is really in reality is God co-laboring with us. Now this is amazing. Because this is what we get in us that Christ in you, what was his problem? Oh. See, we co labor oh. We're co-laboring with him. 
That means we are going along with him. We, like I say, when God chooses, you come, you can't choose God. Tell your mama she can't choose God. Huh? Tell me you can't choose God. When we look at Ephesians 2 and 8, it's we're saved by grace through faith. I dare you to finish the rest of it. Not a word. Hmm? This is a gift of God. God has to give that to you. You know how these people get up and say, oh, I'm brought up in the church. I say, yep. Well, why are you shacking me? Did the church teach you that? No, the church is complicit with you because the mammy on the mammy board and the deacon on the deacon board had the daughters of Rip Cake up, bring the grandchildren over there, and everybody just shacking and packing. That, 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 that's what took the church brought you up for. <laughs> I brought up in the church. One lady told me, she said, I've been in the church long, and you got some yep. Sure have been Baptist woman. I said, so what do you want me to do about it? You don't even know how to get out your own way, woman. Like this. <laughs> Help me, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. So let's look at one scripture over here. But let's turn on a, a, a second. First Corinthians 3. And uh, let me just look at one scripture here before we get there. And I'm going to move a little briefly tonight, hopefully. But I can't understand people. They, they want to go to heaven, but they don't want to spend no time with God. Amen. And when they get home, everything just changes. TV, radio, uh, 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 praise God, cheap filet, uh, Walmart. Some people leave, man. You see them over there at Walmart, man. Stop getting up. Pray, man. What, what's happening here? This one we call that with God. We pray. Uh, pray. God says in Luke 18, 1, that men should always pray. Not always. Sis, who I'm praying to? Who's I'm praying to? Who's I'm praying to? We just don't have time. We're just too busy in this nation. But if they would drop a few bombs, if they would go haywire, those people up there in the Appalachian Hills, North Carolina, vote for Trump. <coughs> they ain't studying Trump now. Mud's in their house, they can't find half of them. Huh? They said, we never thought about a, 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 a flooding show because we in the mountains. Hey, God opened up the heavens, the woman with heaven for 40 days and flooded the whole dumb earth. Did they forget to reach out their Bible? Amen. Yeah, they're Christian. They believe in incest, marriage, cousin, husband, everything they want to be. North Carolina, Kentucky, some of them are. Anyway, my God, we ain't going to play one. Anyway, what are we talking about here? First Corinthians 3. Amen. First Corinthians 3 9. You see that? He said, well, we are laborers well. Yes, yes, yes. With who? God. Me and my wife. The wife ain't God. It might be your God, ain't mine. I told my wife, I said, I ain't none of you. I'm not your God. I'm just your husband, but I have to be your pastor too. Amen. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Amen. For we are laborers together with God. You are, you are, you, you are God. What? You know what that means? Formers. Working with it. So if you notice what Paul is talking about, so we won't take it out there. He said, one planet, one walk. And just think, can you see that? You've never seen that before, but you see when he, when he gets to that thing first, right there. Because, see, you're not taking it out of context, but you're putting it where Paul put it in. He that planted and he that water, he of nothing or that of sight. He said, but God give the increase. Yeah. He said, so here when he talking, let you know. That's why Paul said, he that planted and he that water is that. Yeah. Then 
Then you go to Luke 17 and 10 to find out when you have done all that I have commanded you, count yourself an unprofitable servant. That way you won't think you so much. I did this. I did this. I didn't want to do this. What are you doing then? Huh? I don't want to say no. What are you doing then? Must be saying for the devil. Because you can't get along with anybody. Let me tell you something. The only place I can't get along with people is in hell. I don't pray to be there. Huh? My God, let me tell you something. I know how to take the shot in the street. I'm up there to make it happen. If I'm a saved, you aren't saved. My light going to shine on you. I'm going to show you something. Hmm? I'm going to show you something because I know how to take Jews 1 and 20. I need to, my God, build up my most holy faith power. Well, don't just come here speaking and talk. Don't come and go build yourself up. How? It doesn't still in the Bible. I'm just making, I know I'm just making this up. Because I told you to study. What can we do? 2 Corinthians 3, 15, study to show yourself approved under God that a workman need not be ashamed. I mean, I'm sorry, that's, that, that's the second Timothy 2, 16, or 3 and 16. It says all scriptures is given by inspiration of God and it's proper for the first thing it says doctrine, teaching. Huh? Teaching. Huh? Corrections. Instructions. Oh, you know what I heard about? Oh, what did God reach your feelings? <laughs> what it did say in Hebrews 4 12 says, Quick and powerful, shut up. Amen. See, maybe you have too much word in you for people. Because when you lay with the word, let the word lay with you. Amen. See, if you lay the word, you're going to birth whatever word bursts. When you lay with yourself, you birth, you're going to birth selfishness. Look what we're talking about here. For we are laborers together with God. You are God's husband. You are God's buildings. You see what I'm talking about? We are laborers with him. This we are co-laborers with him. That's why we can do this amazing thing that God said he wants to co-labor with us human beings who he made. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Here we go. Here we go. Here I'm going to send you back to the business. Uh, 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 uh. Jesus, get this demon out of here. God ain't going to do no job. He told you to cast demons out. A demon could cast a demon out. I don't sell, kid. Demon tried to cast a demon out of somebody.